Over one third of Americans aren't just overweight, they're obese. Tonight, the biggest loser will welcome 11 teams of families who are the epitome of that statistic. And their journey won't start at the biggest loser gym. It will start in their hometowns with a public weigh-in. Normally, you walk up to that scale in front of your fellow contestants. We had to do it in front of our friends and family out in the middle of downtown Orlando. This isn't what I want the world to see me as. Weighing in in front of all those people is terrifying. I've never wanted to take my shirt off in front of even my, my closest friends and family, you know, but death is right at my doorstep. It really is. There's no hiding this anymore. Now it's time to let it all out. They're going to know exactly how much I weigh. I'm definitely the heaviest contestant ever. I would never even think of my worst nightmares that I would be this big. For these contestants, this is their last resort. I want to live. I am willing to do what it takes right now to change. It's either Bob and Jillian at the ranch or it's a pine box. Well, we did it, America. We hit rock bottom. So ask yourself this. Do you have what it takes? To do what our contestants are about to do. To take off your shirt. And let that belly hang out. Stand on a scale. In front of your husband, your wife, son, daughter, mother, dad, brother, sister, boss, neighbor, best friend, your entire city, and show them how much you weigh. I'm turning 30. I am single. I've never been in love. I've never had a girlfriend in my entire life. I'm always the entertainer. I dance with all my buddies' girlfriends, but I'm always the guy that goes home alone. I feel like because I can't love myself, that nobody else would love me. I never ever thought anybody could really seriously love a 400 pound man. And I had to make that change. That's why I want it so bad. Welcome to the biggest loser. Call it out. Family fun for all. The biggest loser will take these contestants to places of pain. Places of hope. It's possible. If you believe that it's possible. And places where only champions go. Welcome everyone to the United States Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs, Colorado. <laughs> Ashley, if you step off of the treadmill okay. one more time, there will be consequences. <laughs> Nobody stop! Let's go! I want to hear it! I need warriors! We're going to be living in this gym today! I'm ready! Yeah? Yes! Acting like a fool! Go, Steel! Go! You cannot cry right now. One of these 22 people will be the biggest loser. And it all starts right now. This is Ashley. And Sherry. Can I speak to Coley and Sam? Yeah, we're here. Who's this? Who do you think it is? This is Jillian. <laughs> no way! <laughs> oh my god, I love you! <laughs> it's Bob from The Biggest Loser. How's it going? Hey, what's up? I'm doing good. Oh, we're doing good. Guess what? What's, what's up? You guys are going to be on The Biggest Loser. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You are on the yellow team. <laughs> you guys are going to be the brown team. Yes! You're going to be the pink team. <gasps> I'm kidding! Yes! And that's not all. Oh, what was more? Listen closely. We're going to be doing something with you guys that we have never done here on The Biggest Loser. Uh, okay. You guys are going to weigh in in your hometown in front of your friends and family. <gasps> what? 
It is going to be your first courageous thing that you do being a part of The Biggest Loser. You mean everybody's going to see my weight? Everybody. <laughs> we were going to wait for people? <laughs> Enjoy your last few moments of freedom. Thank you. She's going to keep going. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your first challenge. A weigh-in in front of everybody. Oh, my God. It's a little bit of an emotional trip. <laughs> step one. Step one. We're not there. It's on now, baby. Can I have that salad, please? <laughs> I'm hungry. about to walk into my former high school, completely filled with friends, neighbors, teachers, coaches, my family. It is terrifying. Orlando native and twin brothers, John and James, the best of luck. I know the journey that you're about to begin will be inspiring to all of us here in Orlando and across the United States. We're pulling for you, so good luck and go get them. For 50 years, I've hid behind the rolls, the clothes, and now it's all being stripped away. You know, for the first time in decades, you're showing yourself off to the world, and you're showing yourself off to the world when you don't want to be. This isn't what I want the world to see me as. Being in front of so many people that mean so much to me, and taking off my shirt, Showing them what I've become was one of the scariest things I've ever done in my life. I know they're just waiting to see how much I weigh. My starting weight is 346 pounds. I will do everything I can to make you proud. And I will make myself proud too. So we're gonna do this together, and I'm gonna do this with all of your support. And I look forward to seeing you again in six months, 150, 160 pounds lighter than this. blame myself for how Darius feels. Obviously, I didn't know what to do. I haven't done it for myself. My starting weight is 227 pounds. My starting weight is 243 pounds. My starting weight is 264 pounds. For years, I didn't know what I weighed. There was no scales to hold my weight. Now you go on there and all that added up and here's where you are, you're 484 pounds. We've been overweight since we were about 10 years old. As twins, we were always pecking on the pounds together. We were always within a couple pounds of each other, five, 10 pounds. My starting weight is 485 pounds. I'm actually a pound bigger than my brother. Oh my God, we're, we're the half ton twins. Together, we're almost a 1,000 pounds. My husband actually passed away 11 years ago. He died of melanoma cancer. I turned to food after Ken died, and I began to eat. Then I just continued to kind of use that as a comfort. 
I feel guilty that I have let myself get to this point to jeopardize my health. He always wanted me to be healthy. At a younger age, when I first gained a lot, I was made fun of a lot. I know it pained him to see me in pain. So for me to finally have conquered this um, would mean a lot. I don't want to be in my dad's shoes where he has a great wife and amazing children and he can't do what he loves to do with them. And if I don't do something now, I'm going to be the mom who can't do anything with her kids because of her weight. I think the biggest loser will give me life. At 38, I discovered that I had uh, breast cancer, I decided at that time that death was not an option. This is a moment in time, just like when I had cancer, I've made the decision, I need to live, I can't afford to die. We are from Puerto Rico. Our culture has everything to do with our weight gain, our eating habits. There's always something fried in our food. Mmm, ah bueno, this is good. This is how I'm showing everybody that I'm starting. I'm coming back a new person. I'm never going back to this, so si sí podemos. You know what that means? Yes, we can. Weight is a huge issue in our marriage. It's huge. You know, we made a commitment to each other 10 years ago, and we need to go back to who we were then, and we're just, we're not there anymore. It's seriously affecting who we are and who we are as a couple. My name is Sam. Hi, my name is Coley. We're cousins, and just like Sione and Felipe, we're Tongan. When I saw Sione and Felipe and just the success they were getting from the show, I thought to myself, that should be me. I should be on this show. Football is big in our family. I'm a football coach for Windsor High School. I put these guys through some hard workouts. Drive, drive, drive. And yet, I'm around this, and yet I can't do it for myself. My starting weight is 403 pounds. Hey, just like Sione and Felipe, I want to inspire my Tongan culture, my Tongans, my, my people out there. And I want to let you know I'm actually going to do better than Sione and Felipe. I really am. My name is O'Neal. I'm 51 years old. I'm here with my daughter, Sunshine, and she's 24. I work for the Postal Service. I've been with the Postal Service for a little more than 25 years now. I am totally embarrassed of my size. I want to be the man that my wife was attracted to 31 years ago. I'm not the size I was then. I'm almost three times the size I was back then. She does everything around this house. Every day, she had to help me put on my shoes and socks. It's quite embarrassing. Thank you, sir. Wouldn't it be nice to put on my own damn shoes for once? Yes, it will be. I have uh, never been on a date. I've never um, had a boyfriend. I've never even really kissed a boy. It hurts deep down, and I don't think anyone realizes that. I'm not happy. People think I'm happy, people see me, I'm always smiling, but deep down, people don't know that that's a show. 
She doesn't have that. I don't think she has the happiness that I think she should have. I see her brothers and her friends, you know, getting married, having kids, having a life. And I want the same thing for Sasha. She's a beautiful person inside and out. I can't live like this anymore. I can't pretend to be happy. I can't be the size. I need to get healthy. It ain't gonna always be like this. And I'm glad that me and Sunshine have this opportunity to go through this. And um, this is the last time you guys have seen me like this. It's the last time. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I don't want to go down this road of agony. I don't want to go down this road of hardship. I don't want to go down this road of, of being this way. I want a change. I need a change. We need a change. I'm Michael, this is my mom Maria, and we're the fun-loving at times from Chicago. We're a family of five, and we're all pretty much overweight. Italians, we eat good food, but we eat a lot of it. I feel responsible for Michael's weight because I have just taught my son to love food, and it hurts really bad because Michael is so full of life. You know, I see him falling asleep. After five minutes sitting on a chair, you see him stop breathing, and, and I really could never live with myself if I lose my son. That's why we have to do this together. We have to get healthy. I want to meet, you know, the woman of my dreams and get married. I want to have kids. And that's just not going to happen for me looking like this or feeling this way. I feel like because I can't love myself, that nobody else would love me. my worst nightmares that I would be this big. Even if I lost 200 pounds, even if I lost another overweight person, I'm still gonna be overweight. But, but I'm ready. I'm so ready. But I've been emotional about my weight for way too long. And it's time to fight this battle. <laughs> Unfortunately, we gotta say goodbye to all of you now because we're leaving for the ranch, baby. <laughs> I want to do this right now because I'm saving my life. For other people that are changing their life, this opportunity is saving my life. I need to save my life. I want to live.
beginning a brand new life. And I can tell you right now, there is no better place to do that than right here. Yeah! So, ladies, gentlemen, you are coming with me. Yeah! Ashley and I, we said we weren't going to just sit and watch Biggest Loser at home. And being on the ranch the first day truly was that change. We're not just talking about it, we're actually doing it. All right, everyone, find your team-colored mat. And as we walk into the gym, there's no equipment. I'm thinking, like, do we get hijacked? <laughs> I don't know what to think. One of the first things you will learn about this competition is that there are surprises around every corner. And today is no exception, because right now, you are going to compete in your very first challenge. And then the curtains open. And it's bicycles. I don't ride a bike. <laughs> I'm looking at these bikes, and I'm thinking to myself, this is not going to be good. For the past two seasons, the contestants ran a marathon for their last challenge. This season, your first challenge will be to cover the exact same distance. Today, each team will ride 26.2 miles on a bike. 26.2 miles day one. Are you kidding me? And your future here on campus depends on how well you do. The first nine teams to finish 26.2 miles earn a spot in this house. The two teams that come in last will be asked to leave the campus immediately. Today, each team will ride 26.2 miles on a bike. The first nine teams to finish earn a spot in this house. The two teams that come in last will be asked to leave the campus immediately. Whoa. We just got here. We haven't even been here for a full five minutes. We just got out of the limo. We haven't met Bob and Jillian. We, nothing. I haven't missed an episode of The Biggest Loser. I'm a huge fan. Being one of the two teams that goes home is not an option. There's also a pretty good reason to come in first. Because the team that wins gets the most coveted reward in this competition. Immunity at this week's weigh-in. Let's get started. You are starting out as the sickest group of contestants we have ever had on The Biggest Loser. We have our medical staff here to make sure that you are taken care of tonight. All right, everyone. This is your first challenge. On your mark, get set, go! It's very important to win the immunity, but what's more important is not to be the last two teams. Purple, yellow, and blue just hitting the two-mile mark. Good job. 
got my push. Red, white, and brown are all at three miles. Make sure you are not the last two teams to finish. Yellow and purple are in last place. We've been at this for half an hour, guys. The green team is now at nine miles. Uh. Right now, Magdalia looks like she wants it. She is not slowing down. Gray team right on their heels. I've never seen someone just work so hard for so long. It blew my mind. I was like, there's no way she can hold that pace. And when she gasses out, that's when we'll kick in, grab the lead, and then run away with it. Let's go. Let's go. Remember what's at stake for the winner. Immunity. Green team is halfway there. Michael working through the pain. I've never really ridden a bike because of my weight. There's a big boy sitting on that little seat. Oh, God. Oh. Sitting there, like, there was major pain. Major pain. intensity with everything we do. It's painful, but the more pain, the more I want it. <laughs> ah! Twenty-six miles for the green team. You have two tenths of a mile, green team. One tenth of a mile left, green team. You've done it. That is it. Winning the immunity was the best. We ain't gone home, so we still got another week to go for it. Congratulations, you have won immunity. Come on, great team, bring it home. Great team has finished this competition. Congratulations, great team. Ah! Can't be proud of being second. There's only one winner, and that's the guy holding the trophy, and uh, the trophy was immunity, and the green team had it. Black team has defeated the There was a point where one more team just finished to the finish. The orange team has finished this challenge. Another team would finish. And I'd look around and I'd be like, no, no, this isn't happening. There are five spots left and seven teams fighting for them. You have been at this for one hour. Yellow and blue currently in last two positions fighting for a place to stay in this. Good job, Mom. Push. Push. Mom. Oh, are you okay? <sighs> When I look over at my mom, and she's in excruciating pain. <sighs> I've had two children, and I've never felt excruciating pain like that. I, I don't care what I have to do. I'm fighting for my life. I cannot give up. Coming up on the season premiere of The Biggest Loser, find out which two teams will end their journey and who will stay for a grueling first workout. Let's go! I'm ready! I need warriors! <laughs> and a shocking first weigh-in where one person will be sent home. I didn't want them to pull me off. I was hoping that Dr. Heisinga could just help me so that I could keep going. It's over. it's over. Come on. It's over. Come on. Then I heard him say, it's over. You're off the bike. And I couldn't believe it. Oh, I can't stop. I can't stop. Oh, you did good. I'm sorry. It's okay, Mom. I'm proud of you. In the moment that they took my mother off the bike, she was catching cramps the whole time. All of me wanted to stop and help her. I knew that 
she was gonna be okay. She was in great hands. She was with Dr. Izenga. And I knew that I had to finish this race for the both of us. Pink team, a tenth of a mile away. That's it, Pink team. You have completed this challenge. Come on, Melissa. Burn it out. Burn it out. Yeah. There are five teams left and three spots in the house. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. It's a good stride, Mike. Keep her there. For me, thinking that I'm the heaviest guy and not to fall in the bottom two, I was like, wow. Wow. Three teams fighting for one spot in this house. Who's it going to be? Blue, yellow, or purple? Oh, don't stop. Now you're almost there. Right now, our goal is to beat yellow team and blue team. We have just left our family, our friends, our community. I did not come this far to go home. It was just overwhelming how proud I was of Stephanie and how proud I was of myself. We you did your best. We didn't quit. That's heart. And that's what you have. And I'm proud of you. Blue and yellow were the bottom two. It was devastating. I felt so ungodly awful. We're not going to go to the house. We're not going to, you know, unpack our suitcase. It's a sad thing. It's a very sad thing. Sunshine, O'Neal, Sharita, and Vicky, I'm sorry to tell you that you are the last two teams, which means it's time for me to say goodbye. teams actually walked out the doors and didn't come back. At that point, I think it became real for everybody. If you don't do what you need to do, ultimately, you're going to go home. Right now, I'm just thinking about, um, Am I going to be able to do it at home? I didn't even get to see Jillian and Bob to get questions answered about what to, what to eat, um, how to work out. Sunshine, thank you for everything. You're so thank you. I'm not giving up on that bike. <laughs> you didn't give up either, Dad. We finished it together. <laughs> season of The Biggest Loser, our contestants are once again put in teams of two. Here's some exercises that will work out you and a partner at the same time without the use of gym equipment. For leg exercises, rest on your forearms and one knee. With your other leg, lift the foot up a few inches while your partner applies pressure downward. Finish off with abdominals. Do some sit-ups with the toes of your shoes touching your partners. Each time you sit up, pass off a round object to your partner and then vice versa. So get to it. And remember, two heads are better than one. I'm here to tell you that it is not over. No. 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 It's not over. No. It's like not over. You're going home for 30 days, and then you'll be coming back to the campus. What? You both are going to be coming back to face off against the blue team. Now, the team that has the highest percentage of weight loss will be back in this competition. And you're going to have Jillian <laughs> and I during this month to help you. I would not let this gift go. I would no. not let this gift go. But we have got to hit the ground running tomorrow. You hear me? Yes. All right. 
I'll see you soon. Okay, okay. thank you. You'll see us in 30 days, and we will be back on the ranch. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> the game is on. We're in the fight of our lives, and so we're going to do everything that we can to come back to the ranch. the first morning and just trying to get started and all of a sudden there is a fire alarm that goes off and everybody's like what's going on does that mean it's a fire <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. everybody's like get out get out get out oh my gosh We're starting season nine, and I feel like I'm a broken record when I say we have the biggest contestant we've ever gotten. We have the biggest group I've ever seen. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. The cast just gets bigger and bigger every year, and it's not a good thing. <laughs> This is the first time I feel a little overwhelmed. We have our work cut out for us. We're training together again. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that that's a good thing for you. <laughs> so let's get started. Pain will begin now. <laughs> Come on in, everyone. Everyone's on an incline of seven. Twins, we want you on the ellipticals. <sighs> Day one workout for me is a wake-up call. Day one for me is your rock bottom. Down and lift. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> there were contestants that we hadn't even touched that were just puking. At one point, it's like, we got one puking out this window, one puking out that window, snot and tears coming out of these guys. <laughs> Rob and I are just like this. We haven't even done. We haven't even done anything yet. Let's go. 29 years old. We're gonna hit 30 looking hot. Oh. Five. Hold it up. Four. Oh. Three. Two. Oh. One. Oh. All this sweat that's coming out of you. We need to rehydrate. Okay. You need to constantly be drinking your water every season in the beginning of the show. We like to give the contestants key pieces of advice that will help their journey here on campus and long after. One of those tips is hydration. Now, the cool thing about Brita is that it's actually less expensive than bottled water and better for the environment. You gotta change your filter every two months, guys. You can get this in the hardware aisle at Walmart when you get home, okay? Back to work. <sighs> two more. One more. This first workout is, is ridiculous. <laughs> the night before, we just did 26.2 miles on a bike. And then right to go do the first workout with Bobby and Jillian. It's just nonstop. Lance! <laughs> Five more. Let's go, Lance! <laughs> One more. <laughs> Good. Bob put me through the ring. <laughs> I mean, it was just brutal. Blood, sweat, and tears. Feeling good, aren't you, Texas? <laughs> Lance, go! Go! I bet I know you. You're the one who puts everybody first, aren't you? I put everything above my own needs. When I saw Cheryl that little mom in that orange shirt, this timid little woman. I wanted to bring the power out of Cheryl because I could tell that she was hiding. Are you ready to change? Are you or not? Are you or not? I believe you. Get off the treadmill. Three. Come on, get it out! Fist, fist, fist! Uh. 
Cheryl is a badass. Two, three, four. Damn. Five, just like this. Get it out, mama. Somebody wound up that mama and let her just spin like a top up in this gym. The season premiere of The Biggest Loser began with 11 teams of families across America who started their journey with a public weigh-in in their hometowns. At the ranch, the contestants were faced with their very first challenge. And two teams were sent home. Coming up, you won't believe how much weight they lose and who will be the first to be eliminated from The Biggest Loser. Oh, my God. It's been insane since we've gotten here. We did our first challenge and we've been working out. We're here with people that we've never met before and getting to know each other was key. I'm Italia, I'm 28 years old. Uh, my name is Sam, I'm uh, 23 years old. I'm Lance, I'm 37 years old. I was always the bigger guy. I was always the person last picked. Third, fourth grade, start putting on weight, you know, fifth grade. There were so many different stories, but there were so many that were the same. I'm turning 30. I am single. I've never been in love. I've never had a girlfriend in my entire life. I'm always the, the entertainer, make people laugh. I dance with all my buddies' girlfriends. But I'm always the guy that goes home alone. Right now, I'm here with you guys, and I'm not spending my last time with my husband. He's going to Afghanistan. So by the time that I go back home, he ain't gonna be home. Right now, I am so close to be 300 pounds, and I'm scared, Dad. If anything happened to my husband, my kids won't have me. All I think about is, you know, if I continue this way, I'm going to turn into my mom. I love my mom, but I don't want to be like my mom. I don't want to have to stay at home because no one can take care of me because I'm so big. And I don't want to put that burden on my children either. Like most everybody else, been overweight most of my life. I got to watch a couple episodes last uh, season seven, and um, they had an episode where they did a makeover, and then Felipe was on the show, and he's talking like me. His wife was his surprise. And at that moment, when I seen him, always when his wife appeared, and I seen the love between them, I wanted that so bad. And I've had relationships. But I've always pushed them away because I never, ever thought anybody could really seriously love a 400-pound man. <laughs> and I had to make that change. That's why I'm here. That's why I want it so bad. Okay, you guys, 24 Hour Fitness gave you these body bugs. Your body bugs are going to be your life support system every single day you are in this house. So what you gotta do, you gotta make sure that you're wearing them every day, and you gotta make sure that you're inputting all your information on the computers down at the house. So you're gonna be putting in how many calories you're eating. This is gonna keep track of approximately how many calories you're burning. So you're gonna get to see at the end of the day what your deficit is. You can even check when we're working out, you can see how many calories you're burning throughout the course of the day so you know how many more you have to go. You got it? And let's go. Biggest loser, last chance workout. Hey, 
nine, eight. Last chance workout, there's just a lot at stake. The reality is two teams have gone home. And if we're not careful, we're next. 27, 26, 25, Conway! This season nine cast is massive. We've got five people over 400 pounds. We have got one man weighing in at 526 pounds. And we have got twins that weigh almost a half a ton. We have got our work cut out for us this season. Last year's workout! to inspire, ladies! I need warriors! Go! Uh, I want to hear it! Why am I not hearing anything? Do it again. <laughs> Push up. Push up. Come on, Texas, let's go! Nobody stop! Let's go! Dig! Dig! Push her across the yard! Five more, four, three, two, hold it down. Ah! Do not ah! straighten ah! your legs. Go, go, Miggy. Don't stop, dig. Contestants have seen Last Chance before. You know, every contestant that comes here is a fan of the show. But it's one thing to know what a Last Chance workout is, and it's another thing to feel it. Ah! Ah! Sam, breathe. <laughs> Stand up, Lance. Lance, get up. 14, 13, 12. Andrea, look at your teammate. That is not acceptable. You can do it. My first last chance workout was so much more than I expected. While I was having a cramp in my leg, I, I really thought I can't do it, and uh, it got the best of me. How do I get him to do it? His body won't do it. He can do it. You've got to stay strong for your teammate, Andrea. You cannot cry right now. Your teammate needs you. Do you understand me? This is your first week. You're crying over your first week? No! I'm a sadist. I get in there and I just like, I want to just like push people to their extremes and I want them to just like cry and yell and scream and jump up and down. 14, ah, 13, no. 12, oh, I love it. But what it does is they're going to remember being here at the Biggest Loser house and they're going to be like, I can handle anything. Jeez. This this is just not a game. You know, this is this is the end of the road, this place. Ah! This place, you don't want to end up here. Ah! Ah! It's the end of the road here. Ah! Last stop. <laughs> You two aren't done. You're doing three things for me. You're gonna be walking the lap of that pool inside. You poppy? Got it. Let's do it. What are you thinking right now? I'm good. Talk to me. I just feel disadvantaged, so. This is gonna be a very competitive season. I mean, the majority of the teams are busting their butts. Unfortunately, I'm limited to what I can do. I have a bad knee from a football injury in high school. I can do a bike, um, and that's actually about it right now as far as cardio in there. Dude, we got this. I know. We got a pool. You burn more calories in the pool, man. I'm fine. Right now, James is a mess. I've got to keep James focused on what he can do because it's the only way he's going to survive in this house. Be pissed off. It's okay. Don't hold that down, and don't hold back. I won't. I want you down in that pool, and I want you to just not let this get the best of you right now. I'm not giving up. I never will. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Out of hundreds of thousands of submissions into Biggest Loser every season, you know, they picked us, and I'll be damned if I'm going to give up that opportunity. It's just not going to happen.
walking into the first way in you know in your heart that you've given everything you could but there's still that doubt and all it takes is to be under the yellow line the scale i weighed in at home brought me to the ranch the scale that i'm waiting on here is send me right back to where i was well, welcome, everyone, to your first weigh-in. This has been, without a doubt, one of the wildest weeks in Biggest Loser history, mostly because it started even before you got here. Each one of you stood on a scale and did one of the most courageous things you could ever do. You bared your bodies and your souls in front of your friends and your families, and you made a promise to them that you would come here and you would make a change to improve your lives. And it's clear why. Michael, you weighed in at home at 526 pounds. You are the first player we've ever had to weigh in at over 500 pounds. How was your first week on campus? I've done things this first week that I haven't done in years, and I'm happy, and it feels good. It's the first step to my new life. Bob, what's it like to work with someone who's over 500 pounds? I mean, we have the largest contestants that we've ever had this season. It's daunting. We also have James and John. As a team, you weighed in at 969 pounds. That's the heaviest team we've ever had on campus. That puts you at just 31 pounds away from being half a ton. All of you definitely have your work cut out for you. Because if there is one lesson that you learn the first week of this competition, it's that it's not enough just to tell people you want to be here. You have to prove it. All right, it's time to begin tonight's weigh-in. Tonight, each team will weigh in. And it is your total percentage of weight loss that will determine who falls below the yellow line. And it will be up to the rest of you to determine which player from that team will be eliminated. Green team, you won immunity at this week's challenge, which means you are safe from elimination this week. We're gonna weigh you in first and see how you did. Big Dahlia, your starting weight was 265 pounds. Miggy, your starting weight was 240 pounds. Your current weight is. Congratulations, Thank Nadalia you. and Miggy. You have a lot to celebrate right now. I was crying of joy and fear and every emotion you can imagine. Okay, green team, you lost 29 pounds for a total percentage of weight loss of 5.74%. Congratulations, green team. You have immunity this week, which means we are taking your name off the scoreboard. We're gonna start again with eight teams. Great team. We're gonna weigh you in. Come on up. I'm walking up to the scale and I'm feeling nervous because the scale doesn't lie. This whole week, all this hard work, the commitment, the desire, everything that I've been putting in towards this whole moment, you know, here it is to reveal all. Sam. Your starting weight was 372 pounds. Coley, your starting weight was 403 pounds. Your current weight is. Coley, oh. 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 you lost. 
29 pounds. Your first week on the Biggest Loser campus. I've never worked so hard, so it's nice to see that I get something out of it. You also are out of the 400s. Way out. Way out of the 400s. <laughs> Gentlemen, congratulations. 47 pounds, are you serious? Yeah, damn it, we are serious, and it was amazing. Okay, Sam, Coley, together you lost a total of 47 pounds, giving the gray team a total percentage of weight loss of 6.06%. We have seven teams left to weigh in. Orange team, you're gonna weigh in next, come on up. I came here a quiet woman, but Jillian's proven to me that I am a very strong person. Come on, get it out! Uh, ah! That is what's gonna keep me and Darius here. And we cannot go home yet. Orange team, in order to beat the gray team, you need to have lost more than 34 pounds. Your current weight is. My mom and I weighed in in front of all the people that we know and love, and we promised them that we were gonna make it to the end. So going home now after just one week would be devastating. Orange team, in order to beat the gray team, you need to have lost more than 34 pounds. Your current weight is. We did it. I'm very proud of Darius. And I'm proud of myself. I mean, 14 pounds for myself. I'm like going, man. This has been hanging on to me for a long time, and it's just going to shed right off. <laughs> Orange team, you lost 43 pounds your first week on campus, giving you a total percentage of weight loss of 7.5%. Orange team, that is good enough to take the lead from the gray team. You are definitely safe from elimination. The Orange team will be here for one more week. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Black team, come on up. Walking up to the scale. In my head, I was going over like, has my body changed? Have I lost any weight? Do I feel different? When we got on that scale, I was just hoping and praying that the number that I pulled was enough to keep my dad and I here on the ranch. Drea, your starting weight was 298 pounds. Daryl, your starting weight was 413 pounds. Your current weight is... Drea, how does 14 pounds feel? Oh my feel? gosh, I was so nervous. You don't even know. I didn't even talk to anybody today. I was so nervous. Daryl, you didn't just lose 30 pounds this week. You broke through that 400 pound barrier. I am now under 400 pounds, and it's awesome. How much do you weigh, Daryl? I'm not 400, and that's all you're getting for now. All right, black team, you lost 44 pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 6.19%. And with one team below you, you are definitely safe from elimination this week. Next, we're gonna weigh in the brown team. Being the heaviest team is nerve wracking because even though we might drop weight quickly, we still have a lot of weight to drop compared to the other contestants. 
Then we see all these littler people, you know, hitting 30s and 29s, and you're sitting there thinking, oh my God, did I do enough? James, your starting weight was 485 pounds. John, your starting weight was 484 pounds. In order to beat the gray team, you need to have lost more than 58 pounds. Your current weight is. amazing as twins you both lost 23 pounds yeah we're used to it <laughs> we both agreed we'd like to be you know in the mid-20s at least so i just hope it's enough to stay here because we're not giving up excellent thank you losing 23 pounds i was proud i mean in a week i've lost 23 pounds that's awesome but at the same time it wasn't enough for what we wanted to lose brown team you lost 46 pounds your first week on the biggest loser campus giving you a total percentage of weight loss of 4.75 percent Great team, with one team below you, you are definitely safe from elimination tonight, so congratulations. Brown team, we have four teams left to weigh in. We'll just have to wait and see. Next up, we're gonna weigh in the red team. As I was walking up the steps, and you've got time to think about weighing in at home in front of friends and family, it's almost shameful to have to go back this soon in the game. Melissa, your starting weight is 233 pounds. Lance, your starting weight is 365 pounds. And in order to beat the Brown team, get you guys above that yellow line, you need to have lost more than 28 pounds. Your current weight is. The Brown team. Guarantee yourselves a spot for one more week. You need to have lost more than 28 pounds. Your current weight is. I can't tell you how many times I've seen that number, either coming up or going down. And with them two people's help right there, it's gonna be the last time I ever see that number. Congratulations, Red Team. You're safe, one more week. Thank you. 19 pounds. Woo! <laughs> 19 pounds! <laughs> Lance, however, he needs to work a little bit harder because he only had 21. He's got to do better than that because if he's not careful, I'm going to get him. Red team, you lost 40 pounds for a total percentage of weight loss of 6.69%. Good enough for second place right now, red team. Congratulations. You are definitely safe from elimination tonight. You are going to be here for one more week. Up next, we are going to weigh in the purple team. I'm feeling good about what I've done, but I'm worried about my mom. She struggled all week, but I know that she gave every ounce that she had. Purple team, in order to beat the brown team, you need to have lost more than 24 pounds. Your current weight is. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Patty, having lost 23 pounds in one week, 
you've lost the highest amount of weight in one week of any female competitor we've ever had in the show. My mom to lose 23 pounds. Don't ever doubt yourself. You are amazing. I can't remember the last time I felt so happy. I think it was the day Stephanie was born. Well, it earned you one more week here on campus. Congratulations, Purple Team. I did something pretty amazing. And that just gives me more fire, more fuel to just push forward and keep going. Purple Team, you lost 41 pounds your first week on campus for a total percentage of weight loss of 8.09%. Oh. Oh. And you are now in first place with tonight's weigh-in. Brown Team, with two teams left to weigh in, we're going to have to wait and see how you do. We have Pink up next. Ladies, come on up. You know, I'm so nervous because I don't feel like I've lost enough weight. Because people are losing like 20-something pounds. Ashley, your starting weight was 374 pounds. Sherry, your starting weight was 218 pounds. In order to beat the brown team, be above that yellow line you need to have lost, more than 28 pounds. Your current weight is. Oh my God. How's that feel? Wow, that feels amazing. Congratulations, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow, I'm almost out of the 200s. I cannot wait. It was one of the best moments to see your child overcome this huge obstacle. I mean, she is the biggest girl here. And for her to lose 21 pounds of that big obstacle, it was dynamite. <laughs> Pink team, you lost 38 pounds giving you a total percentage of weight loss of 6.42%. So it comes down to either the brown team or the white team. One team will fall below the yellow line and everyone else will have to vote to send one person home. As we kept watching, our name kept getting lower and lower and lower in the chart. I mean, it's very frustrating to know that me and my brother could be going home tonight now. And that's something we never planned for. Michael, Maria, it's your turn to get on the scale. We're the last team to walk up the scale. It's extremely scary. Can I put up the numbers that these guys are doing? I'm double the weight than some of these guys. All right, white team, after just one week on campus, either you or the brown team is gonna have to send one player home. Since you're the final team to weigh in, we're gonna weigh you in separately. Maria, you'll be first. Your starting weight was 281 pounds. Your current weight is. A lot of pressure on those shoulders, didn't you, Maria? It feels good. I hope it's enough to keep us here. We need to be here. Michael, your mother lost 13 pounds, which means in order for the white team to be safe from elimination tonight, you need to have lost more than 25 pounds. Your starting weight was 526 pounds. Your current weight is.
Michael, your starting weight was 526 pounds. In order for the white team to be safe from elimination tonight, you need to have lost more than 25 pounds. Your current weight is. Thanking us because it was you. Couldn't have done it with anybody else. I wouldn't have wanted to with anybody else. With those 34 pounds, you have lost more weight in one week than any other player in Biggest Loser history. Get out of here! <laughs> you know what? You know what? I, I came into the season weighing the most, and that was a record I wasn't proud of. But I told myself that I was gonna start making records that I was gonna be proud of. This is a record I'm, I'm proud of. Congratulations, white team. You are here for one more week. We look forward to more records from you, Michael. Having that record of weighing the most and now having the record of losing the most weight in your first week, it's such a high, you know, and it's addicting. I just want to run down and get back on the treadmill. I want to see what else I can do. White team, you lost 47 pounds your first week on campus for a total percentage of weight loss of 5.82%. Congratulations, white team. You are above that yellow line. You are safe from elimination this week, which means brown team. John and James, I'm sorry to tell you that you have fallen below the yellow line. And it'll be up to everyone else to vote to send one of you home. Bob, Jillian, it's time for you to say goodnight. I can't believe this is happening. Week one, you know, a member of the brown team, you know, me or my brother are going home. I'm pretty pissed off about it. So, this is probably the most difficult decision you'll have to come to every week. And it'll be up to all of you to decide who's gonna stay and who's gonna go home. I will see you in one hour with your decision. Good luck, good luck guys. You know, his knee's really, really bad. Um, but my thinking is there's no better place in the world for him than right here. You can do the pool. So I guess I'm sacrificing myself. I don't want to go home. I don't want to let everyone down. I don't want to let myself down. And I know I can do this. I just don't think he can do this at home. So there's no other choice in my mind. I have a swimming pool at home. If that's all I can do, I have a swimming pool at home. I know you're self-sacrificing and we both are gonna do that for each other, but you know what, you're, you can go farther and you know it. I don't wanna go. This is the best, this is the best that you can get in the world as far as weight loss. But this is about weight loss and winning a game. I know he's a competitor and if he gets to stay here, he's gonna find whatever it is he needs to find to win this. John, what do you have as a support at home? I mean, James told I mean, us our whole family name. lives at home. I mean, you know, my wife, my baby, and, uh, you know, honestly, just for other situations, money situations, I, I would have to probably go to back to work right away. I had the ability to focus on nothing but my health and working <laughs> out and not have to worry about a job and a baby. Guys, the, all of us would like to talk for a few minutes, so if you could give us just a few minutes okay. to talk about this. I don't know which way they're going to go. If they go from a gameplay perspective, they're gonna keep me here and they're gonna send John home. Or the house could totally go the other way and say, you know, look, James has the ability to take off work and focus on himself, but, you know, it remains to be seen which, which way the house goes. Knowing that we're about to split up a twin brother team is really heartbreaking. I wanna keep John here because he's stronger. 
you know? Like, he can do everything. But then James, like, he was right. James needs the doctors. That knee is so bad. His knee's horrible. With, with the problems on his knees and his, and his numb cartilage and his ankle, I mean, that guy needs the, the help here and needs the attention. Not only how do you separate, separate brothers, but how do you separate twins? I mean, there's not even a pound difference between them. I mean, they both lost the same amount of weight. Is there even pros and cons in this? This is, it just seems like it's all con. We have no idea who we want to vote for. It's not one is bad, one is good. It's just they're both great guys. I dread the fact of having to send one of them home. You good? The Biggest Loser Transformation Moment. See how the eliminated player looks today. TheBiggestLoserClub.com. We're changing lives. Tonight, you had to choose between twins, John and James. One will be doing this at home, and one will be here on the Biggest Loser campus for one more week. Miggy, how do you make that choice? It was very hard. All I see is two beautiful people. But we chose John. John, that's one vote for you. If you receive four more votes, you'll be eliminated. Black team. When the boys had time to share their hearts with us, one of them had uh, a good backup system at home. That being said, the black team votes for James. Well, James, that means there's one vote for you. And John, you have one vote. Whoever receives four more votes will be eliminated. Red team. We tried to put ourselves in their position. If it were Lance and I, what would make us most successful at home? And based in, on the support system and things like that, the red team voted for James. Okay, James, that's two votes. John, you have one vote. Pink team, what were you thinking tonight? This is a hard decision for us, but we really related to one of the brothers that if he goes home, he has to work and go back to the grind, and that's hard, you know, and that would be what we would have to do. We hate to see him go, but the pink team voted for James. All right, James, that's three votes. John, you have one vote. James, if you receive two more votes, you will be eliminated. Purple team. We know no matter what decision we make tonight, it's going to be tough on both of you. However, the purple team has decided to vote to send home James. James, that's four votes. You receive one more, you will be eliminated. Michael, what was the white team thinking tonight? Nobody will ever understand how difficult this decision is until you're here. That said, the white team voted for it. James. Well, James, I'm sorry to tell you with five votes, you are not the biggest loser. Are you ready to go home and take on this challenge? I'm not only going to do it, I'm going to win the at-home prize. So. <laughs> I know John doesn't understand it now, but it, it was the best decision, and you've been handed a gift to stay here because, um, you know, you can still win this, so you should thank every one of them. It is time for you to say goodbye. Even though I've only been here for a week, I've learned a lifetime full of lessons. So I can say it was the hardest thing I ever, ever did, but I survived. 
the James before The Biggest Loser would have sat at home, gnawing on a block of cheese watching TV, and uh, would have been too afraid to get up and exercise, but that's not the James anymore. My first way in, in front of my friends, my family, I promised all of them and I promised myself that I was gonna go to this ranch and I was gonna change my life. Just because I'm leaving this ranch, it doesn't change the fact that I'm gonna change my life. That's still gonna happen at home. I lost 23 pounds. I did that in a short amount of time and that's gonna continue at home. America, the next time you see me, you're finally gonna be able to tell me and my brother apart because I'm gonna be the more handsome, skinnier twin. <laughs> When I got to the Biggest Loser Ranch, I weighed 485 pounds. I'm home now, and now I weigh 385 pounds. I've lost a total of 100 pounds in two months. Unfortunately, I, I left the ranch on week one. It wasn't planned. I mean, me and my brother thought we were going to take this, you know, to the end. But I came home. As soon as I got off the plane, I went to my local gym and started working out, and I haven't stopped since. You ready? All right. Two more. I was lucky enough not to have to go back to work when I got home from the Biggest Loser Ranch, so the gym has become my work. I just feel blessed that I'm able to, to focus on myself for the first time ever. <laughs> my wife, Christine, and I, we used to eat out um, basically every meal, and now um, we eat at home. We cook every meal together, and you know what? It's fun. We get to spend time together, and we get to eat, you know, good food. Hey, it looks beautiful. Mm, you're beautiful. No, no, you're beautiful. Okay, stop. <laughs> Being on The Biggest Loser is the best thing that's um, happened to James. He's energized, he's motivated, and he really has motivated me to stick to it as well. And I've lost 24 pounds since James has come home. Things have changed a lot. I'm very active now. It's not just sitting on the couch watching TV. That part of my life is over, and I want to make sure it stays that way. I have more confidence now. I'm proud of myself, but I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna look great at the finale, and I think everybody's gonna be shocked. Stick around. Jillian sits down and talks Biggest Loser with Jay. Coming up next on NBC. Week two is historically a tough week here. What do you do? Beat the hell out of them. We have to ride out this week two curse. This can all change and anything you want you can have. You can do this. You're giving us our life back. Are you going home? No. Her current weight is... Oh my God! Stop it! Are you kidding me? 